Hello all aspirants and viewers welcome back to the channel this is an ed sharpener production and my name is devashish in this session for general aptitude we are going to cover another requested topic simple and compound interest to lo gyan pilo welcome back before we actually start let me tell you what the expected take away after this session is we will quickly see why at all this interest on money is generated and a basic notion of it then we shall see the simple interest and its formula and later compound interest and the related formulas so let us start with the notion of interest let us keep this in mind that the interest is a reward for productively working with money for some time let us look at these three words carefully money time and productivity together these three make more money money invested is nothing but the initial principal loaned or invested time signifies the time for which the money is worked with over the period of n generally in years and the productivity can be represented by the rate of interest on principal which is given in percentage now let us see the simple interest let's say there are two accounts p and i in account p we invested 100 rupees at the start of the year which has rate of interest of 10% per year so at the end of every year we put 10% of 100 in account i Again in the second year we put 10% of 100 in account i this money is coming from the productivity of people using the money so what would be the total interest for 5 years whatever the money there is in account i is the interest so in this case for n equals to 5 years the interest i is equal to p into n into r by 100 which is nothing but r percent of p multiplied by n here r equals to 10% n equals to 5 and p equals to 100 so i is equal to 50 now let us look at the compound interest compound interest gained popularity as soon as people understood one flaw in the measurement of simple interest which reduced their interest considerably this flaw as we can see in the previous problem we got the interest of 50 rupees now what if i take out my interest from account i to account p in the first year the interest i will earn for the next year will be calculated on the principal of 110 rupees and it will be 110 into 10 divided by 100 equals to 11 rupees if i again repeat the process of transferring interest from account i to account b for 5 years the total interest at the end of 5 years will be 61.0.5 rupees which is more than the simple interest for same period and same rate of interest now what is the formula for the amount accumulated after the compound interest cycle for the same principle of 100 rupees for the first year we get 100 plus 100 into r by 100 which is nothing but the amount after one year now in the next step what we are doing is we are taking the same principle and adding the interest on the new principle by multiplying it with r by 100 in the next term So as you can see in the fourth term if we simplify we get 100 into 1 plus r by 100 raised to 2 which is the amount after 2 years as we continue we can see after 3 years this same amount becomes 100 into 1 plus r by 100 u and for the n years the formula would be 100 into 1 plus r by 100 raised to n let us just replace the initial principal amount 100 by p now replacing 100 by p we get p into 1 plus r by 100 raised to n which gives the amount accumulated if p is compounded for the period of n years with the rate of interest of r percent per year now an important thing to remember here is we are compounding the principal after one year but compounding can be done with different cycles such as semi annually quarterly monthly and even daily remember as we increase the compounding frequency we get larger amount at the end so the formula changes to p into 1 plus r by 100 t raised to nt where t is the number of times the compounding is done per year also remember r is always given in percentage per year if not mentioned otherwise let us see an example so for the same problem as we did earlier for principal amount equals to 100 rupees r equals to 10% and n equals to 5 years and if the compounding is done monthly the value of t becomes 12 as the compounding is done 12 times a year hence a is equal to p into 1 plus 
10 by 100 into 12 raised to 12 into 5 which gives 164.53 rupees which is little more than what we got with compounding annually. In the graph shown on the left, the compounding is done annually for 10 years for initial 100 rupee investment. With R equals to 10%, the maximum amount after 10 years is close to 260 rupees. On the right hand side, the compounding is done monthly and maximum amount in 10 years is 270 rupees. Other all parameters are same. So we can see just by increasing the frequency of compounding, we can get larger sum. The rule of 72. Usually in many problems, it is asked in how many years will the original principle will get doubled? To solve this, we need to solve logarithms, but with the rule of 72, you can easily find out the period capital N for the amount to get twice. Just use capital N is equal to 72 divided by R, where capital R is in percentage. For example, if R equals to 8%, we get N equals to 9 years to get principal to its double value. Please remember, this formula is an approximated version and is a bit erroneous for higher rates of interest such as greater than 20%. Now let us see the summary. The formula for simple interest is I equals to PNR divided by 100. And for the compound interest, the formula is amount A is equal to principal into 1 plus R divided by 100 raised to N. For the same parameters but increased compounding frequency, the amount will be more. We just have to make minor change in the formula of compound interest where R by 100 changes to R by 100 T and the power N changes to power N T. The T is nothing but the frequency of compounding per year. Also to calculate the period for which the principal gets doubled, just use capital N is equal to 72 divided by R. We shall be covering problems on compound and simple interest in another video if considerable response is received. Please let us know in the comment section if you want more problems as well. And also let us know on what topics you want the next session of general aptitude. Also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We will see you with another video soon. Tab tak ke liye, gyan pite rahiye.